I logged on Warzone on Friday to play some buyback solos as they're a bit more aggressive and less campy than regular solos, which is the type of gameplay I prefer. Rather than hiding in bushes or rooms with a heartbeat monitor, um, I prefer a bit more of an aggressive playstyle. Um, but instead of buybacks on the menu, there was something called Kingslayer Trios. To start with, I didn't know what you had to do in this mode, and did a quick search but couldn't find any hints. After a few games, I started getting some wins as you'll see from these early clips from the gameplay, and decided that I'd share some tips on playing this mode, uh, things that helped me to get some wins in Kingslayer. Uh, Kingslayer takes place on the Warzone map but with a smaller moving circle and 50 players. My first tip for you and your teammates is to make sure that you ping the kings, marking them for each other from the map. The kings are the players with the top score in the top five teams. While kills are worth one point, killing a king gets you five points, so you need a fair few king kills to be the first to make it to the 100 point target. If you only get 10 kills, but they are all kings, that's 50 points, and you are halfway towards winning already. Marking kings is also useful to help show you what floor they are on, and make it easier to track them in order to get the big scores. Obviously, if you are the king as the top point scorer in your team, and if your team is in the top 5 of the current totals, then you will appear on the map so you might want to play slightly less aggressive in those circumstances and certainly make sure you don't find yourself out in the open as everyone will try to land on you from their spawns and also be tracking you as we are tracking this player here. You can see how going after kings can significantly bump you up the leaderboard and it's probably necessary if you want to get that first place. This game was a little annoying as it was one of my best games of the day. I'd got 24 kills but we had a player decide to leave so their total was stripped from our team total. Um, having a full squad of three is really needed as we only finished seventh despite some good scores from the two of us. If the third member had only got a couple of king kills then even that would have put us in the top five. My next tip is making use of those advanced UAVs. If you kill a king, you usually get a cluster strike or an advanced UAV in my experience. They not, the UAVs not only show the position of the enemies but also which way they are facing, so you can sneak up on these players and catch them unaware. The ground loot in Kingslayer is cluster strikes, UAVs, advanced UAVs and precision airstrikes. So rather than weapons and um, armor plates, things like that. Uh, you tend to just get the kill streaks, um, those four specific kill streaks. They are mostly in chests, but a great place to find loads of them is in Superstore, where they're just lying on the ground. The cluster and airstrikes can net you a few kills. Uh, the advanced UAVs glow a gold color, so you can find them easier to spot. Keep popping them as you should be getting more with each king you kill, and you can only carry one at a time. My next tip is a tactic people seem to like to use from what I've seen from my first day of playing on Kingslayer um, and that's holding a building that's near the edge of the circle. Uh, the gas moves quite frequently and you have a relatively small circle for the amount of players that are in the game so if you can get control of a building a common tactic is to pick people off as they run towards you in order to escape the gas and this can lead to some easy kills. Another tactic I've seen from people at the edge is to actually stay in the gas and pick people off from there. Then if you die in the gas, the point doesn't go to another player and you have unlimited respawns in Kingslayer, so you just get back into the action after a few seconds. Uh, usually at the edge, players are sprinting to escape the gas, so you can win some easy fights that way. Um, it's not really good sportsmanship, but I'm listing it as a tactic that people use to get kills, and certainly something to be aware of. 
My next tip is to take some high ground. Uh, Kingslayer is a very fast paced mode and due to the small moving circle and respawns so you don't often have time to check all the angles and vantage points. Uh, taking a high position can mean you can pick people off as the circle moves and spot pen plenty of players out in the open who might not necessarily see you. Uh, you see in this example um, that I, this player that I spot has the gas to his back and I drop an airstrike so that he has to run towards me and then I get the simple kill that puts us in first place. Um, obviously for high vantage points you need a good weapon for distance, a sniper or a marksman rifle or an AR or an LMG with the longest barrel and low recoil, um, probably a scope too. You want weapons with a good time to kill and plenty of ammo as you don't want to be running out as you're almost always in a fight. Um, an SMG like an MP5 or maybe a shotgun could be good as your secondary. Often you'll be in close quarters fights so you may benefit from being able to engage at different ranges. I'd say that overkill is a must for your perk and there's little point in running ghost. I was running tracker as a perk for chasing people down but you could just as easily take shrapnel, tune up or amped if you prefer. Um, I ran EOD but whatever blue put perk you prefer depending on your play, play style should be fine. Um, I've been running a growl that I added a scope to because of the frequency of the long range engagements uh, with an MP5. I also tried running the new Finn LMG in combination with the VLK, VLK Rogue shotgun um, with Dragon's Breath rounds. I use the shotgun or the MP5 for buildings and the growl or the Finn for longer ranges. If you're good with snipers, which I'm not, uh, you might want to take one of them with an AR or an SMG as your loadout, but these are what worked for me. Um, I'd take stopping power rounds as your field upgrade as you want to win as many fights as possible as quickly as possible uh, to be that first one to the 100 points total and they also help with recoil on the fin LMG. Uh, finally I took a C4 and a stun for tacticals but again whatever you prefer. I hope these tips might help some people out. Uh, let me know what worked best for you and I'm open to suggestions to try other loadouts. Thanks for watching.